Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Windows 11, as many of you already know, has some very strict security requirements for you to be able to upgrade to Windows 11 from your current Windows 10 uh, machine. And this is mainly around the availability of a trusted platform module, TPM2 uh, module, which is basically a security chip um, on your device. Now, the trusted platform module has been around on new PCs since around about 2015 and 2016. But a lot of manufacturers haven't enabled uh, the trusted platform module you know, up until this point. And this means now that a lot of users who are actually checking to see if their Windows 10 machines are compatible to be upgraded to Windows 11 are getting uh, feedback that you know they're missing a required core component. And for a lot of users, and the reality is that you just need to enable TPM version 2 because you, you know a lot of older motherboards actually have it and it's just not enabled by default. Now, Asus is another manufacturer now who's jumping on board to get their systems and hardware in line for the initial rollout and release of Windows 11. And Asus now have started releasing new firmware for their motherboards, which enables support for Windows 11. And... Um, the new BIOS will automatically enable TPMP on AMD systems or Platform Trust Technology PTT on Intel ones. So if you have an AMD or Intel system and you are running an Asus motherboard, then this uh, uh, the new uh, firmware might be able to help you to be able to upgrade uh, from Windows 10 to 11. Now, if we just go over to the ASUS webpage, ASUS motherboards ready for Windows 11. So they basically get in their house in order for the rollout and release of Windows 11. And it says a diverse range of ASUS motherboards are ready for the latest Windows 11 inside a preview build. Users can enable Windows 11 support on their motherboard by following one of the two methods below. And method one, update to the latest BIOS to get Windows 11 support. And method two, manually activate support in UEFI BIOS. Now, they obviously give a disclaimer here because when you are fiddling and f in your BIOS and flashing your BIOS, this is at your own risk because this, you know, especially if you are not uh, too clued up about hardware and, um, and, and operating systems, you could wreck your system. So they do give a disclaimer here before you start fiddling around in your BIOS and on your motherboard. Now, the first method is update to the latest BIOS to get Windows 11 support. So if we scroll down here, we can see here now, yeah, you have the chipset, the model name, and the BIOS, the latest BIOS version, which is recommended. And yeah, you have all the different versions of the ASUS motherboards. And then you can also just download uh, the latest um, uh, software firmware for your motherboard if you are finding yourself in the situation mentioned in this video. And there's quite a list here, all the ASUS motherboards that will be able to be up and will be able to be flashed and possibly run Windows 11. So what I will do is I will leave a link to this web page down below for you to go check out um, and obviously just take a bit more of an in-depth look at what's going on here because there's quite a lot of information on this web page. Now the other option is to enable UEFI on your motherboard in your BIOS and you can activate UEFI in your BIOS and yeah, you have two options. You have for Intel and you have for AMD. In the Intel, it just gives you how to do that. There are instructions here where you can go in and enable that on your BIOS. And as I say, I will just post this down below for you to go check this in depth. And then for AMD platforms, you can go follow those instructions over on the AMD platform side of things over there. Now, if we just go right down to the bottom of the page, as I say, there's quite a bit going on on this web page. It says here, yeah, the following motherboards are compatible with Windows 11 under current testing. The upgradability is subject to the support from operating system or third-party drivers availability. So yeah, is a whole list of uh, ASUS motherboards that are compatible with Windows 11. So, you know, this is a nice, easy reference. If you would like to just go check out if you meet those requirements you can, with current Windows 11 uh, testing this, this could change as they say but currently these meet the hardware requirements to be upgraded to windows 11. now just on a side note if you would just like a quick way 
to find out what BIOS version you have if you would like to obviously upgrade the firmware. The easiest in uh, Windows 10 is just to right click on your start run and you just enter MS Info 32. So that's MS Info 32. Okay, and this takes us over to the old legacy system information, which you can actually get in the control panel as well. And yeah, you will find your BIOS version and date and everything else you need to know about your BIOS and your motherboard processor and everything like that. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.